Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're taking a look at the Evenflow Pivot Explorer Stroller Wagon. We'll take a look at the accessories that it comes standard with, and then we'll do an overview on all of the features. All right, let's jump right in. The Evenflow Pivot Explorer is advertised as being an all-terrain stroller wagon that you can push and pull. And best of all, it is JPMA certified and tested, so it's safe to use with your kiddos. Now, your stroller wagon does come with two traditional style stroller canopies that can be moved into a variety of angles and configurations, and they are UPF 50 rated. They do have mesh panels on this side, and these are actually on the carriage themselves as well, which help with airflow and ventilation. The Pivot Explorer Stroller Wagon also comes standard with a snack tray, which is a really nice accessory. And these are super easy to install and remove. You just simply press the buttons on each side. Taking a look down into the carriage itself, you'll see that there are two seats and a footwell. Now the seats themselves are nicely cushioned and on the sides there are these elasticated mesh pockets which are great to use for sippy cups, toys, binkies or any other accessories your kids would like to have handy. There are two similar gusseted pockets on the exterior of the carriage which is great for mom or dad's cups, coffee or car keys. The Pivot Explorer Stroller Wagon does come standard with a basket that you can actually move around or attach to either side of the stroller wagon. You can even pivot it so that it goes towards the interior compartment of the carriage. The seat back height is pretty shallow at 11 inches and from the seat to the top of the canopy is 21 inches. Now keep in mind that you can move the canopy around if you need to. The interior width of the seating compartment is 15 inches, which does make it one of the more narrow ones on the market. And the interior seating length of the entire carriage is 32 inches. Each seat is approximately 10 inches deep with a footwell that is four inches deep. And then the width of the footwell matches the seats at 10 inches. With the basket installed at the rear of the carriage, you can see that there is the risk of kicking or bumping it with your legs. The handlebar is fully extended and still I have a problem with it being located there and I am only five foot two. However, I cannot move it to the other side of the carriage because as you can see, there is this gray button located there that you use to actually lower the seat back. Now that's important for collapsing the wagon or for just giving your kiddo an additional view outside while they're seated. Because of the compact size, this is a very nice stroller wagon to push around on different terrains. It does have easy steering and a smooth push. However, if you want to pull it, all you have to do is loosen the handlebar by adjusting these clips on the side, and then you can extend the handlebar all the way up to give you a comfortable pulling length. Now, in my personal opinion, the fold or collapse on this is cumbersome and there is a little bit of a learning curve. It's also not super stable standing it up and it is super wide at 25 inches. Doing a side-by-side -side fold comparison of the Evenflow Pivot Explorer to the Larktail Caravan Stroller Wagon and the Wonderfold W4 2.0, you'll see that it actually falls in between the two of them. It is a little taller than the lark tail and a little wider, but it's not as tall or as wide as the wonderful W4 2.0. Like the folding or collapsing process, the unfolding does have a little bit of a learning curve to it. There are two buttons, one on either side of the handlebar that you need to press in simultaneously to actually unlock the locking mechanism to unfold it. 
The braking mechanism on the even flow stroller wagon consists of two individual foot brakes. Compared to the Larktail Caravan stroller wagons, the large wheels are just a little bit smaller, but they do offer a really good tread and they appear to be made from the same material. The front or small wheels do not have any brakes and they do not come with swivel locks. Now this did prove a little cumbersome for me when we were on gravel as they did bounce around a lot. All right, so taking a look at both of my kiddos seated in the even flow stroller wagon, my son is 47 inches tall and my daughter is 32 inches tall and they both fit in here fairly comfortably. Now, this stroller wagon does have a weight limit of 55 pounds per seat, but both of my kids are under that, so we are fine. Now, it's a good thing that my kids absolutely adore each other and they don't mind touching each other because this is a tight fit. Now the Evenflow Explorer stroller wagon only comes with a three point harness. It does not have a five point harness or over the shoulder straps. So if your little one has a problem sitting still or you have a fear of them possibly standing up or falling out, then this may not be the right fit for you. However, my daughter seems to be okay with just the straps over her hips. For reference, this is what my kiddos look like seated inside the Larktail Caravan. If you'd like to use your even flow stroller wagon for naps on the go, that is a fairly simple fix. Just use any small pillow and stuff it into the footwell. We prefer using our go-go tray as it does have a soft pillow backing that fits perfectly into that footwell area. And as you can see, my 32 inch daughter fits comfortably inside of this wagon. So would I recommend the stroller wagon? Absolutely. At the low price point, the smooth steering and everything that comes included, I would. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next video.